Today I've got two showings. I have a room available, so I have two showings at one property, uh, back to back. And then about 30 minutes after that, I have to drive to the next property where I have another showing. There's a vacant room there, so I have a showing there. And then I'm going to view a duplex that we're closing on next month um, right after that. So we acquired the contract um, sight unseen. So um, my realtor Chad just went down and, uh, well, he lives there. So he went and got a video of the duplex. He sent it to me and after looking at it, put in an offer, the offer got accepted. So the video was good enough um, usually to at least make that call. Uh, the inspections have been done, so we're just waiting on the report, but it's good to get eyes on it. Um, just because the market's turning right now and it is a duplex and I'm going to be down there anyway. So if I have that chance, I'd like to get eyes on it, but I also didn't want to miss the deal. So it's better off going ahead and acquiring the property without seeing it in person if I have a pretty good idea of what it looks like. And if you've been following the channel, you know that I'm always critiquing real estate videos and that's exactly why because it's a time thing the more videos you watch you're, you're able to pick out things and the video he sent the property the duplex looked fantastic but we'll see what it looks like in person if that changes my mind or not so stay tuned and you know being an, a real estate investor this is what you have to do on Sunday I have a 12 day old baby girl but the business doesn't stop and you have to get it done so I'm just taking some time to shoot down. Uh, my daughter's going to be sleeping most of the day anyway, so it's okay. And then I'll just be safe and get back uh, to the family later today. so we just had two showings at the house and they went great um the, i think the first girl loves the room um both of them were like this is really nice um and the second girl said the video walkthrough that i have doesn't do the house justice so i clearly need to figure out how to shoot a better video a better walkthrough video i don't know if i need a camera upgrade more lighting something so that's a good tip for me is to now figure out how to make better walkthrough videos and um the house was super clean um everybody's got the house kept the house in order and i'm telling you for some reason the room to room thing um they keep the house in much better condition than i think a regular tenant would um because you have you know new furniture in there so it works well and again it's room to room so you know you're charging 550 600 a room uh, the cash flow is fantastic even after including utilities and everything and then on top of that if someone moves out um, you still have cash flow so it lessens your chance of having uh, high vacancy rates so this is working out fantastically well that's three people that now want the room um, something I do to keep it fair is it's first come first serve so if you see it first or you request um, the lease first which is probably a trick um, to go ahead and get the lease and signing it sight unseen one girl did that i drafted the lease but she said you know what i want to see it first so now i just showed the room and this girl said she really likes it and wants it so the other girl has had 48 hours to sign the lease so i'm going to pull that lease and let this other girl go ahead and, and have the room because she's here she wants it and uh, she's not delaying the process so it, it really is whoever signs that lease first um, is who gets it so uh, things are going well here at the first house now there were no issues so let's go to the second house for the next showing So the showing at the second house went really well he came in and the house was in good shape everything was still clean 
Um, he looked at the room, which needs a paint job, so I'm gonna have somebody do new paint uh, because there's been, I don't know, maybe three tenants in there since it was last painted, so there's scuff marks on the wall. But um, yeah, he wants the room too. So that's two rooms down for leases in the same day. That fills up all the rooms in the houses uh, on into next month. Um, and then another room comes available at the end of July. But the good news is I can go ahead and start advertising for that one come uh, for August 1st. Uh, so that's great news. But the guy was cool. He seemed like he'd mesh well with the other people there because it's an all guy household. The other household's actually an all female household. It just kind of works itself out that way. But the showing went well. And then from there we went to the duplex. And the duplex, uh, it was good to get eyes on it actually. The inspection report came in and there's been water damage in the attic. There's water damage under one of the bathroom tubs and some joists need to be replaced. Um, both units honestly need pretty much a, a complete facelift. So we're talking pull down the popcorn ceiling and new paint and new flooring, but there is hardwood on the one side. Even though they put down like some tile and carpet, there's hardwood underneath. So we're gonna try and salvage the hardwood if we can. If not, we're gonna put down LVP, which is just luxury vinyl plank, which is very resistant, especially when you have renters. It's, it's affordable, it's not cheap, but it's affordable and will last long and it's resistant to water and scratches and things like that. So it's something that you, I recommend putting into your rentals. Um, but yeah, we looked at everything. There's some work that needs to be done. So we have to go back to the seller and renegotiate, which just means we're going to do what's called a repair addendum stating, hey, it needs a new roof. Uh, it needs redecking, which is just essentially underneath the shingles, the wood. Uh, we need areas where it needs to be replaced. So we're gonna ask for that and everything that's in the inspection report, that is significant. So we'll say, hey, you know, you might have to come off the price 20 grand or you need to write a check for 10K at the end. So there's something they need to do to account for all of the repairs that need to be done to the house. Well, to the duplex. So it went well. I think we're in a really good place. We'll see what the sellers have to say after the termite inspection tomorrow when we get all of our due diligence checks done. I'm still waiting on the HVAC report to come in. So this is what you do during your due diligence phase is you do all your checks to see what's wrong with the house and then you ask the seller to compensate you for the things that are wrong. Um, and this is what you do when the house is not sold as is and this one wasn't. So today was super successful. It was worth the drive down to view the houses. I've got my mail, um, I have a PO box there and then saw a duplex we're buying along with uh, the other rentals. So super successful trip on a Sunday. Now I get to go home, spend time with family, and drink some wine. So I had to stop by the wine store. It's cheaper in South Carolina, and there's some stuff you can get here that you can't get in North Carolina. So uh, make the most of your trips if you're doing it uh, out of town or distance landlording. So definitely let me know if you have questions or comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.